Okay. Uh, welcome to this uh, information uh, uh, webinar on ICT31. Um, I'm with uh, uh, Giorgio Celentis. Uh, my name is Jean-Luc Dorel. I'm a topic coordinator for this call, and Giorgio is the PO in charge of, uh, of the topic. Uh, just wait a second. Somebody wants to join. Right. So uh, this uh, topic is part uh, of a larger initiative, which is called uh, Next Generation Internet, uh, for which I will give you some details. And um, uh, and afterwards, uh, Georgios will go into the, the specific of uh, ICT31. Uh, so in, uh, in terms of a uh, general picture, uh, Next Generation Internet is, uh, is an initiative that has been launched uh, okay. last year, uh, last in year. which we plan to um, to do two things. One is to uh, position the narrative of uh, a human-centric Internet, uh, in which uh, we uh, want to fund technologies, um, solutions that uh, change the paradigm of the Internet towards uh, towards human uh, needs, towards uh, more control from the users, uh, from uh, the management of the of the relationship with uh, objects, uh, AI agents, infrastructure, etc. So it's uh, the so-called human-centric internet vision, in which we also. Uh, expect to develop the technology that will uh, fulfill or that will be uh, faithful to European values that we commonly share in terms of openness, in terms of protection of privacy, in terms of transparency or collaboration across borders. And the other uh, novelty of this program is the particular way we are going to uh, to spend the money, the funds, the, 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 the public money, uh, unlike common or usual traditional instrument in Horizon 2020, this uh, next generation internet uh, will uh, fund the researchers through intermediaries. There are a number of reasons for that. Uh, for instance, there is this notion of uh, uh, life cycle of, of the projects. Uh, we want to be very reactive to technology change, and it, it is not very compatible with the traditional way we do uh, funding. Uh, we want intermediaries to be able to uh, address and attract these talents that are not commonly associated with uh, European uh, money or European fundings uh, because of administrative burden, because of uh, uh, big consortia because of the relatively broad scope of the of the topics. Here we are going to uh, be uh, much smaller. Uh, we are going to be more reactive, uh, smaller team, smaller life uh, time frame, uh, uh, and 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 lowering the administrative uh, barrier for uh, entering uh, those funds. Of course, intermediaries will uh, take some of the burden of uh, of these administrative uh, uh, contracts, uh, and inter intermediaries uh, will have to uh, to put in place the mechanics for attracting those talents. Right, that's uh, uh, the general uh, context of uh, NGI. Uh, embrace a number of other uh, initiatives and, and topics. These slides give you the, the bigger picture in, uh, in Horizon 2020, where we not only uh, address uh, the uh, Next Generation Internet Initiative, Open Internet Initiative, but also uh, things around uh, AI, Internet of Things, uh, social sphere, social media, interactive technology, multilingualism, and uh, inclusiveness for a total of 300 million euro under the same uh, umbrella and the same uh, objective of human-centric internet. <clears throat> the specificity of the um, 
uh, of the next generation internet open internet initiative is this uh, cascading funding that I, I mentioned in which uh, we have the uh, intermediaries that uh, uh, is in form of a consortium that receive money from uh, European Commission uh, and uh, issue open calls uh, in the form of uh, uh, a website with a template with uh, priorities uh, with um, associated uh, um, terms of references and then uh, do the evaluation that's the other uh, act uh, requirement for these uh, intermediaries that um, will ultimately lead to uh, the funding and awarding of uh, grants to um, a number of uh, small projects um, and typically we are talking about uh, 50 to uh, 200k maximum uh, and then in terms of duration it's it's a small scale so we are going to talk about 9 12 months this is uh, indicative figures uh, we are going to look for agility focus targeting internet innovators from a broad range of uh, origin uh, startups high tech uh, SMEs, uh, independent researcher or even academic researchers, uh, independent developers uh, or consultants. In other words, uh, all all talents that are um, impacting the internet and that will contribute to uh, the general objective of uh, human-centric internet. Right. Um, this is part of uh, uh, this. This was already uh, in place in uh, in the first call uh, in 2018, and we have already uh, funded uh, four projects that applies and uh, and is uh, the same cascading system. So privacy. Uh, we have two projects. Decentralized data governance, we have one project, and uh, discoverability and identification technology, we have uh, one project. Uh, so they all apply the same uh, mechanism that I mentioned, and uh, why it's relevant for this call is that it's precisely the same uh, technique, uh, cascading. And uh, Georgios will uh, will look at that in details, more details, as well as the bigger picture in terms of uh, collaboration with uh, with the U.S. Uh, in a specific slide. Right. Um, I think that's it from my side, and and now I'll leave the floor for uh, to Georgios. Uh, thank you, and uh, I hope you can hear me. Apologies for all the hiccups with the with the audio audio problems before. Uh, so, as mentioned so far, um, uh, the, the, the logic of ICT31 is exactly the same uh, of the Cascade funding as it is with the other projects uh, of NGI uh, in terms of implementation. Um, I will give you a little bit more about the logic and about the history of the program. Um, so, this, this particular uh, part of uh, NGI is, at, is building uh, upon existing uh, collaboration that we had with the US and more specifically uh, with the um, uh, collaboration that we had uh, under uh, the previous programs of uh, FIRE and Genie. Uh, so uh, we held uh, several, uh, several um, teleconference with our colleagues, uh, NSF, and uh, there were uh, specific uh, workshops uh, when we were building also the NGI program and uh, in, in, in uh, uh, exploration to find what were the topics they of common interest. Uh, so this gave up to the two previous, uh, the two previous projects that were selected in uh, last year. Uh, the one which is more uh, the support action, which is about, about the um, uh, the think tank and uh, also the uh, fellowships. We cover two of uh, of three uh, major uh, major um, um, activities we wanted to cover so far. So one is to through the think tank to identify the to further identify as NGI is an emerging, uh, 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 covers emerging technologies for the future internet. 
what are the uh, upcoming uh, topics of common interest from the US and the EU. Uh, then uh, uh, we want to foster the collaboration with the fellowship uh, program uh, that is it was launched the last year. And now ICT31 is the third element of this program where um, uh, common experimenters from the uh, so from the two sides are going to use experimental platforms uh, to test uh, uh, their research in um, in a as as it is the ambition of the experimental platforms in a realistic and large scale environment. Uh, so uh, this is uh, to say the first the first question we receive is whether it is it is obligatory to use the the experimental platforms that we used in the past. So namely the the fire projects or the genie projects. Uh, from the US, uh, no, we are not uh, limited to that. And it is expected also that uh, as as NGI topics extend to, to areas that were not covered uh, before, that we uh, um, uh, that we're not, uh, I, I received just a message that the slides are not in full screen, the slides, is, is this correct? Sorry, um, I got a, a chat message that you cannot see the slides? Yes, we, we see the presenter mode, so we have, uh, you know, two, two, two little slides. Uh, uh, let me see, how can I remedy that? Uh, is, is, is this better now? Um, share screen. Is this better yes. now? Yes, and maybe if you, if you can go to full screen now. Yes, uh, yes. This is this is what we did in full screen, and I think it. But no. no, no. Okay, so the previous one was good. So, so this then, one. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank uh, you. All right. Uh, so um, uh, I was I was saying that uh, um, to the question whether we need to use the experimental platforms that we use so far. Uh, the answer is no. We expect the area to evolve, and whenever, uh, uh, whenever there is a, a possibility to use uh, uh, an experimental platform that uh, that is the the ideal playground, then uh, the better uh, the better it is. Um, so, uh, um, as I cannot see, just a minute, sorry. Right. Um, so. Um, Again, on the on the idea about the logic of the program is that it run, it runs in parallel. It, it has um, it has uh, the corresponding uh, uh, research program in the U.S. Size, in the U.S. side uh, or programs or other activities. But if you want to have a reference, the reference is the IST program that is running from the NSF. Uh, that said, uh, again, we are not obliged to use this specific program as a counterpart. Uh, any activities that is uh, that are building on the topics of the next generation inter as as explored by by the program are are eligible as well. Uh, so uh, we have now, um, uh, as I explained, the possibility to have uh, the um, uh, consortia that are going to be built uh, for from the EU side. This is, this is the call for the EU side. Uh, it opened uh, the last October. It would close uh, uh, end of March. Uh, and in the timeline, we expect uh, that this will uh, 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 happen. Sorry, Zanglik, this they don't see very well. The this. it's okay. Uh, No. No, 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 no. It's it's not like this. Uh, let let me go back because I had it. As I had it before, uh, if you can, because they cannot see the slides. Uh, P 
put it as it was sorry put it as it was before the and the presentation in in the mode yes like this don't worry they see they see the right just just remove this please right thank you all right uh um so um where was i uh so we 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 use uh, in terms of the funding now and how how this works um, there is a possibility to use uh, uh, um, i mean as as said the, the the cascade funding model is exactly as Jean luc explained uh, with the other with the other projects but with regards to the u s partners the u s partners uh, can also join uh, and this is something we explore also with the current uh, with the current uh, project as uh, international third parties uh, international third parties are covered by uh, article 14.8 of the grant agreement and uh, here i have uh, some background slides on this article 14.8 14 of the bar, uh, grant agreement uh, yes uh, Article 14 of the Grand Agreement uh, talks about implementation uh, by international partners where um, the costs are declared in the Annex 2, are not reimbursed, are taken into account for, for the calculation of the grant, but at the same time uh, there is accountability foreseen in the, in the clauses of the grant. Uh, uh, so uh, this is another way for the uh, American partners to participate uh, in the in the call because as I said the initial agreement which was uh, signed uh, and under which uh, all ICT 31 the current and the previous call are built upon are um, foreseeing that uh, this is not a joint call uh, this is a call where you have uh, activities financed by the EU side and by the US side but are running in parallel uh, so this is the um, this is the the philosophy of the call here uh, and it's it's the first time we do that and I believe uh, the the ideas are not very well um, uh, probably uh, explored on to how or we this can work in practice. So uh, for the US partners, the, the key message is that they can adhere to the contract, they can use Article 14A, 14A uh, but they have to secure and seek their respective funding uh, in advance from the uh, US side, be it an NSF grant, be it another type of, uh, of activity relevant to the NGI uh, topics that they are going to uh, experiment in the experimental platforms. Uh, having said uh, all that, uh, I think this is how it, it will work uh, in, in the future for, uh, for uh, ICT-31. Uh, we expect uh, uh, that this will be a sort of evolving call in, in a sense that it will have, um, it will get fit in terms of the topics, what are the new topics that are emerging in the NGI. And as I can uh, uh, I can show in the sorry here, uh, you can see the big picture of NGI where uh, uh, where we are at the end of Horizon 20, 2020, our framework program. We are going to uh, witness, uh, we believe, uh, uh, um, um, more and more uh, 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 involvement of uh, next generation internet in the next framework program. Details will be announced uh, as as the modalities uh, are going to be agreed. Uh, but that's... Georgius, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I cannot see the slides. I don't know if everyone can, but at least I cannot. You cannot see the slides. No, uh, I think no, none of us can see the slides. Okay, yeah. I don't know what is. Okay, now, now uh, but there's like this um, gray boxes on top of it. At least one gray box. Yeah, if you can, 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 can you put this down? This, this is better now? Yeah, it's a little bit better, but it's very small. Small, it's very small. Like, so anyway. I, think, I, think if, I think if you, if you do not have it in full screen, it's better. And with the smaller gray box, hopefully it will be much better. 
uh, if we drop this the full screen if we drop the full screen as we did the full screen doesn't show to them what is shown to them is this one so we have to drop the full screen if possible okay is this uh, no it disappears it disappears now uh, like this yes it's better this, i think this is the best solution this is the best solution thank you again apologies <laughs> thank you we are we are new to this as well where we, we made all possible mistakes <laughs> it's okay I, th I think also something that can improve it a bit is basically to close the side pan on on the left which has like the smaller like yes. this yeah. Yeah, yeah all right thank you yes thank you uh right uh so this is the best screen we can share with you <laughs> I hope you can read uh, you can read the part of the slides. Anyhow, the slides will be. I think we we can we can post the slides uh, later on, just for the reference of what I'm talking about. Uh, but more or less uh, um, uh, here, uh, I, I finished what I had to say about uh, uh, ICT 31. If you want, if you want me to clarify any of the points that I said before, I can go back. Uh, just the links to check out is the ngi.eu for the program and the latest news. Uh, uh, the policy, um, the policy issues uh, are described in, in our webpage in uh, Europa.eu, and of course all the information about the participation is in the participants portal. The third link that I point out there. Um, also in the slides you can have the call text, but I think in this you can take it also from the uh, from the. Um, uh, from the participant portal as well. Uh, this is the last slide that I maybe was not uh, visible. It was, uh, it's a backup slide for the uh, issue I mentioned about uh, Article 14A, the possibility to have the US partners as, um, as uh, third parties, international third parties. And, and with this, I, th I think we finished the, uh, the presentation, but as we have you now online, uh, it would be very good if we, if we can have any questions that, or any remarks you may have for the ICT 31, uh, any clarifications you might want to have. Uh, let, let me see how we can go back now to, I don't know if it is in the chat that we can see that. Uh, th there is a raised hand. I think I think if you want to, to make sure that we don't talk over each other, there is like a raised hand next to, uh, to our names. So uh, you can. Yeah, I don't, uh, see, I don't see anybody. Uh, I'm going to raise my hand now. I, th I think. Yes, please raise your hands, and then we can see you. Yes. So if 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 we raise hands, I think I think we can just go in whatever order. So you just call our names then. because I right. bet there are multiple questions. Okay. Who is talking, please? Ahmed? Yes. 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 So, so, um, so I, um, I think, um, I think this was very helpful. Uh, there are a few questions uh, that that I have. I, I had a very bad sound quality during some period, so maybe they were covered. So, uh, the first thing is that I understand that the way that we're going to write these proposals is similar to uh, normal H2020 proposals, meaning that we will need three partners from three different countries at least, right? Yes. Okay, and are these and and since the NSF, so so uh, we we are a partner to one of uh, of, of the U.S. side funded projects, basically. Uh, do these three partners need to be funded? Uh, like, have because there there is, for example, UMI University in Sweden and UMass in in uh, in, in the U.S. and then there's I uh, think MDEA and some other. Uh, we are talking about three European partners. That's the main yes. request. Yes. So, do we should we should these three European part, uh, part, partners be uh, like also partners to U.S. institutions who already got funded to the, uh, by the NSF? No. Okay. No. Uh, uh, just 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 a little bit to clarify what it what uh, again the rules of funding. The rule of uh, the rules of funding is that we are funding the European Commission is funding European partners. If and when U.S. partners are making part of the grant agreement, they are funded by U.S. side. 
and that's the that's the the requirement now we don't say i mean they can participate without funding there, there are all sorts of all sorts of possible options in that uh, they can participate without funding they can they, 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 they can participate uh, with funding by the us but the basic message is that their funding is secured or is handled by uh, uh, us side so uh, we will not fund and we will not defend the execution of the pro project upon funding or securing of funding from the u.s side is this clear so what you, what you mentioned about uh, having a, a u.s uh, uh, side agreement or not for us we don't care as long as uh, they have done their job and they have secured funding from their side uh, that, that clears things up. So, in essence, you, uh, the EU will be funding probably much more, many more projects compared to what the US funded, because I think the US funded like ten or nine. Yes, but but bear in mind that the ma major bulk of the funding of this project, as with the previous uh, 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 projects, eighty percent of the funding, so of the three point five millions, goes not to the the partners, but goes to the third parties. All right. Yes. 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 Right. So the third parties are there to 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 uh, participate every time. So uh, it's not is not uh, is not the, the the ones that are going to organize uh, the experimentation and they are going to link the experimenters with the with experimental facilities that are going to receive the bulk of the money. Right. Anybody and are the, th are the third parties also all expected to be European? No, no, no. And you can have also possibilities of third parties that the, you have consortia of uh, third parties. Uh, uh, now, because I made a little bit of, of, of uh, mixing up third part, international third parties I mentioned in my talk and also third parties that are, uh, that are uh, uh, testers. Let, let's clarify the things. Uh, and have uh, definitions on that. So we have the participants of the project, right? The participants of the project where you have Europeans and maybe Americans are participants of the project, the ones that are setting up the testing, right? And those, the Americans can be international third parties. And we have now the testers who are going to use and who are going to do the testing and who are going to be called later on in the phase of the project and those are going to be uh, 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 can be Europeans can be Americans and they can be uh, also teams uh, for those testers uh, so uh, if, in, if I can give you an example you have you have uh, let's say an experimental facility which is uh, in the ideal case, in a joint experimental facility with uh, uh, with some servers, let's say in Europe and in the U.S., and at the same time you have uh, uh, you have the consortium who is uh, who is setting this playground, and then you have uh, uh, a call where testers are responding to this call, and in this call you can have again. Uh, 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 a consortium again another mini consortium because we are talking about much less funding that is going to make a testing of a specific technology on those facilities and this consortium again can have a mixed team from european and uh, and uh, us uh, researchers but is, the, is the mechanism would, clear but would the funding cover the us side in that case in that example no. or just the EU side the EU side. Okay. The funding of, the, of ICT31 covers always the EU side. And it's the same with the, that was the agreement that we had with the NSF, uh, that uh, the funding, uh, the corresponding funding every time should be fetched by uh, the side of the Atlantic that is uh, uh, responsible for uh, the researchers. Having said that, 
the facilities that are offered there are free to use and it's the play the playground is common that's that's the idea so the collaboration takes place in a common playground okay thank you george uh, i just have uh, another question it's jim clark here um, i missed the very beginning and maybe you covered this but just on the topics for the uh, eu us um, ngi calls um, is there any preference on those topics? Should they be something along the lines of, you know, the current three that are running, the pricing and enhancing technologies, uh, discovery and search, et cetera, or the new ones, or, you know, can it be open? And secondly, at what level of detail is it expected to be elaborated in the proposal on this? Uh, so, um the philosophy of the call is to uh, give a playground for NGI topics that are currently uh, explored by the community. So um, that's why it's 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 not it's not prerequisite to uh, to put a, a black on white now because you don't know what will be the NGI topics in in two years from now that are going to be uh, possible to experiment. But you have some indications already uh at least from the uh, uh, from the programs of nsf isd and others probably that are running in the area and uh the ngi uh, topics that are already called and uh, rewarded uh, the grants you have an idea of the uh, of of the range of topics that are eligible to be explored at least in the first fa phase of uh the experimental uh, uh, facilities uh, of ICT31. That's why also the call of ICT31 is is delayed, if I can say so, by one year compared to the other calls, because we we believe that we needed a maturity time for those topics uh, to be tested on the facilities uh, uh, that will be available uh, from uh, 2020 and onwards. Having said that, uh, it is not, as I said, it is not possible to have topics that will be um, uh, described at the proposal phase that will cover the whole duration. So what will be interesting for the proposers is to describe how they are going to fetch uh, and how they are going to plan the response to the emerging topics by matching them to the new, uh, uh, to, the, to the facilities that are necessary for performing the testing so that that is that is the important issue here is not to be specific about the topics but about the mechanism that will allow a, a good testing for those topics is it covered the question yes very much so thank you Um, Uber speaking, thank you very much first for uh, this presentation and indeed all these exchanges clarified a lot. Thank you for that. Um, taking a step back with regard to what you were saying uh, concerning the securing uh, US funding uh, in this call. So just in the timeline, this would mean, and uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, that US partners secure uh, their funding from NSF, from World Fund Center or whatever at proposal stage in that we, EU partners, would then provide you with documents, proof or something along these lines um, indicating the level of funding secured for uh, the project that will be then uh, validated by the by uh, the Commission, right? So is this timeline correct? Yes, yes it is correct in the following sense. So. Just, just, just to clarify, what has to be secured when? Uh, at this proposal uh, phase, uh, we, we, it would be good uh, that the U.S. Uh, there shouldn't be a misunderstanding that the fact that the U.S. partners uh, participating in the proposal phase in our call, should the proposal be selected, it doesn't mean that uh, automatically they, they, they get. Uh, funding from the U.S. side. Um, this is not like, for example, the Swiss agreement where we had uh, a, an approval of, of or, or, or um, 
selection of a proposal at, on, through the EU procedure meant automatic approval for Swiss funding for this proposal, for the Swiss partners. This does not apply to this call. Therefore, at the proposal stage, it would be uh, good, I mean, uh, to have at least uh, some signs or if not proofs that the U.S. partners that are participating as partners in the grant agreement or th as third parties in the grant agreement have done their homework and they have found how in the future they are going to be eligible or at least they have secured some funding in order to cover their activities or, as partners or as, as third parties in this project. So um, that is for the partners or third parties of the project. The same goes later on uh, when uh, at the execution of the project you will have, as I said, common teams of researchers, testers, that will participate later on to the, um, uh, to the calls that this project will announce. Uh, then uh, those, uh, those uh, uh, testers, if they need funding and, uh, from the American side, Again, they they should do their homework and and and, and, and uh, proactively uh, find so. So this is, but this is for the later stage when the project will be running up, and we will publish calls. So the logic is the same. Is this that this covered the question? It does. Thank you very much. Any other questions, please? Um, yes, uh, so basically, just to, uh, I mean, uh, when, when we're writing the proposal, we're sort of writing two proposals. One of them is the actual research that the consortium will be doing, the three partners or the four partners who actually start the consortium and who are actually uh, going to run it are going to do. That's the research aspect for which they will get 20% of the funding or maximum a cap of 20% of the funding. And then there will be other and the second part of the proposal where we actually explain how we will have a sort of a call for proposal for other mini projects or testers to come in and do things is that the, is that correct uh, let me clarify a little bit what sort of research activities uh, will be desirable in the for 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 um uh the participants for the for the for the people that are participating in this project this the the, the partners of this project are are firstly performing the um, they are um, task is to perform to facilitate and to perform uh, let's say um, uh, the ideal conditions for testing NGI technologies uh, for the 80% of the fund funded testers. So uh, the type of research that uh, uh, is foreseen here is, for example, if you have um, testing facilities that uh, are semi-mature uh, for offering this playground, then any testing, uh, any, any, sorry, any research that will improve this playground is uh, more than welcome. Uh, also, uh, if there are uh, possibilities for uh, for uh, complementary, let's say, research that is uh, necessary for, again, the testers that will uh, come to those uh, facilities for performing this uh, uh, this test, again, this is a welcome research. But this is to be limited to that, and. Um, it's not is not uh, is not necessarily uh, uh, it should not be decoupled from the basic uh, basic uh, idea of having uh, experimental uh, driven research, which is, and the role of this project partners, which is to facilitate uh, the um, the testing. Uh, so this may m may sound. Um, 
very awkward, but this, it, it, it is not the typical research project. Uh, all RIAs that we have so far on the NGI, and this is the same as with um, uh, the RIAs that are in the in the previous call uh, and in this call, uh, are of the same type. You have a 2080, a 20 is uh, 20 percent of the funding and therefore of, 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 of the resources, the activities is dedicated to the partners in order to uh, perform and, 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 and launch those type of, uh, of uh, research or testing in the case of ICT31. And 80 percent is for the people who are going to uh, uh, land on, on at a later stage and, 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 and do uh, sm smaller scale uh, experiments or research activities uh, on those projects. Covered the question? Yes. Uh, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. If there if there are uh, no other questions, uh, and again, apologies about the, all the hiccups for the for the connection and the presentation. Uh, I think we covered uh, the, the topic, and I hope and I will wish uh, to all the uh, people that will apply good luck. And thank you for your participation and your patience. Thank you. The, the video will be uploaded uh, to the to which uh, web pages? Uh, we will uh, we will we will put it at the ngi.eu, the same as uh, perfect the, the same link and also the presentation uh, there. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you as well. Thank bye you. Bye, 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 everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye, bye. Thank you. Bye.